So you're planning for your very first time flight. But you feel nervous, you feel anxious, you don't know what to do, what not to do, how it will all be. You don't know what to expect. Well, I have been there before and that is why I'm sharing with you in today's video my top journey tips for your very first time flight. Stay with me. welcome 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 back to my channel thank you so much for being here and if this is your very first time on this channel you're welcome take hug <laughs> thank you so much my name is victoria and i am a nigerian lifestyle and business blogger so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my top tips for your very first time flight in nigeria or outside nigeria wherever in the world you are the process is actually the same there might be slight changes from airport to airport from country to country but it is basically the same process so go ahead and click on the subscribe button and tap the bell beside it so that you get notified when next i post a video such as this and do you know someone who is preparing for their very first time flight please share this video with them they will really appreciate you for it so Let's get right into the tips so i'm going to be starting with booking booking is like the first step it is you securing your seat in the airplane and a lot of deals that you can actually get from booking your flight the right way firstly if you are preparing for your very first flight if it is not an emergency um travel it is something that you are really really planning for then it is advisable that you book your flight ahead that means that the, the the more further away your flight is from your time of booking the cheaper the price will be so take advantage of that and also on your hairlines website for example i used um, emirates the very first time that i traveled and on their site there are different categories different ranges whether you want to bring them um, two bags warm bags or this this you know different um ranges of prices for different things that you can bring along as much as you can actually do with just one bag why why take two why take two bags and pay more for the hairline so booking in advance is very very important maybe like a month or even more a month or more to the time of your travel book in advance also you can make use of these booking sites online they offer different discount codes they are like marketing um marketing sites that help the airlines to find people that will take their planes so they offer a lot of discounts so you can check it and sometimes the prices on the um airlines website is even much more cheaper than those booking sites so do your research go on google google is your friend my dear <laughs> go on google and search and you'll be able to get answers and information about booking flights the cheaper price the more expensive ones the type of airlines that you think you want to fly with all this information are online for you, you just need to research the next thing is parking you want to park smart what do i mean by parking smart you need to make a list and start parking early start making your um, luggage preparations your luggage parking early it is very very important and this saves you a lot of stress on the day you are traveling or days before you are traveling me don't even laugh at me my first time traveling i started parking like two weeks to that time that's when i started parking because i knew that i can i could easily forget something and considering the place i am going to and considering that i won't be get going back home for a very long time i knew that i had to get everything right i have to everything has to be just perfect so i made a list of everything that i needed to be in my box to be in my backpack to be in um, the smaller box and as i'm getting them as i'm packing them i'm taking them off so that's very very important for you you need to do that make a list 
and um as you pack your stuffs tick it off tick it off tick each and every one of it off so that you don't get to miss out anything also it is very important for you to check your um airlines website check it to know what and what not to pack in which luggage bag this is what i mean you know what like <laughs> if you watched my first video on my very first flight from lagos to dubai i mentioned that at the immigration um place they actually took my what did they take they took out my yeah my detergent i had put the detergent in my backpack so they took it out and it was really painful really it was painful so you need to read the terms and conditions of flying with your particular um flying airplane you actually want to check your airline's website to be sure of what they will accept in your backpack what they will accept in your bigger boxes so that there will be no stories that touch when you get to the airport <laughs> it won't be funny it's not funny at all when you have to drop some things just because you did not read the um, airlines policy and procedures and all that it can be really really painful and you can avoid this it is also very very important to know your airlines minimum um ma i mean maximum weight limits you know most airlines will say 23k two boxes of 23 kg and one backpack if that is the case then you know that each luggage must not be more than 23 kg now how do you know how do you measure to be sure that your box that you are packed with every necessary thing that you need is not more than 23 kg this uh picture that you are seeing on your screen is showing you a hand luggage um um weighing scale which i found very very useful i used it for my first flight and it was perfect like as in it was perfect i was so happy that i got it so it might be useful for you also to get that and weigh your luggages before leaving the home yeah before leaving your house weigh your luggages and know what it is so that at least that fear of oh do i have to drop some things off when i get to the airport that fear will be out of it in this video i talked about how i got to the motala muhammad airport in lagos state nigeria at 11 a.m when my flight was supposed to be 6 p.m actually i enjoyed it and some of you made fun of me in the comment section it's okay <laughs> really you need to know if you can check in online from your phone or your computer if your airline's website can accept um people checking in online and most of the airlines now even have apps of course like the emirates i'm sure i think british airways also has they have apps in which you can download and you can actually log in your details and check in online so you can actually go ahead and check in online before leaving the house so that you you will you will have enough time to do all the packing and saying goodbye to people you know and by the time you get to the airport you know that you are going straight to board the plane you are going straight through uh immigration you are not um being you are not joining the queue to um to get yourself checked in you have done that already on your phone so if you can check in online please do that also you want to make sure that your phones and laptops are fully charged and if you can even get a power bank for your phone it will be fabulous because sometimes the airplanes might not have um entertainment and you might want to you know get yourself busy keep yourself uh busy in the plane by watching movies or checking your social media on the plane because some planes i mean some airlines actually provide wi-fi on here so you might want to have your laptop and your phones your other gadgets you might want to have them fully charged so that You'll be comfortable in the plane basically and also for communication purpose you can actually communicate with home you can communicate with your family and friends and let them know that oh your plane has already 
already what has already flown <laughs> sorry english is hard <laughs> you understand what i mean uh -huh. so it is important if you can get them fully charged and get yourself a power bank it is good. you can also take a water bottle with you now note i said take a water bottle with you it should be empty empty water bottle because they will not allow you to take any um drink no drink will will pass through that immigration um immigration what they call it oh my god that security check you cannot take fluid you cannot take water you cannot take drink through the place so just take with you an empty uh empty water bottle then after passing through the um, security and the immigration then you can fill it up with water so that you get yourself hydrated in the plane and it is also important that you take um about five minutes walk in the plane every hour i was guilty of this i did not do this on my very first flight i just sat down gently <laughs> on that my one corner where i sat down in the plane and it really told on me yeah it really did so it's advisable that you stand up and stretch your legs out for like three to five minutes going to the toilet even if you're not going to the toilet just walk up and down the plane and um, stretch your leg like every hour or every two hours that if you are on a long haul flight that's like flights that are 12 hours eight hours long you really need to keep your muscles um in shape also at the airport please be sure of your boarding gate and um, when boarding actually starts now there are different airlines with different um statements of when the boarding gate starts some might just say boarding starts at five o'clock while some will say boarding gate closes at five o'clock you know there are two different statements so you really need to understand what your um airlines um policy as regards boarding is so that you don't miss your flight so that you don't miss your flight while approaching the security booth you need to understand that there are some gadgets i mean your gadgets that should be placed in that plastic there's a plastic rack that is stacked up and you just pick one you place in your laptop your phones your belt sometimes if your belt has there's a um, metal stuff you, they ask you to place your belt your wristwatch anything metal like that they ask you to place it in that plastic ra um, rack and that goes in differently then your um, carry-on bag goes in also differently and if you are actually wearing a boot or some other type of covered shoes they will also require you to pull it out so it is important and um, necessary that you get those things at hand before you get to the security boat so that you won't start fidgeting when <clears throat> excuse me when it's your turn and you are now then uh, taking out your backpack and you are trying to locate where your phone and your laptop is in order to bring it out you get me so you need to take them all out before you reach the security boat it will be much more easier for you easier for the security people and easier for everyone no delays try as much as possible to be polite and smile yes try as much as possible to smile they are work the, the security and the immigration officers they they are work are stressful enough so <laughs> no. come and put your 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 sad face or bold face against them so smile and is their name compliment them and um you know everybody loves the compliments when they are doing their jobs so be polite smile compliment them and also after leaving the security and immigration you'll be able to see the duty-free shops this is where you can buy anything 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 you can buy drinks you can buy water you can buy anything buyable and they will actually allow you to take all those things into the plane so it's at the immigration um booth that you provide your um your passport and i think you provide your boarding pass also your passport and boarding pass so make sure that these are 
easily reachable and also when you board the plane smile be polite and compliment the hostesses and the hosts <laughs> the air hostess yes and if you think that you are not getting maybe you, you are not getting where your number your, your seat number is you can actually tell them and they will help you with it but actually it's, it's very easy to find you know it depends on which part of the plane you came in with but you see the sequence one two three four five six so you just follow it like that and you'll be able to locate your seat on the plane so after finding your seat you sit down and fasten your seat belt it is very important you fasten your seat belt and while others are trying to get settled on the plane there are usually some safety magazines before you like in a pouch at the back of the chair in front of you you just you can just glance through and look through it and see what safety measures they've written out for you there and also there will be an announcement and um, like a safety guide by the um, pilot and the um, air hostesses they will actually demonstrate to you the safety measures so make sure that you pay attention pay attention because it's very important nobody knows what can happen at any time on air if you didn't pay attention i don't know <laughs> but try and pay attention is important also in the course of um the flight if you want to ease yourself you don't know where the toilet is located be bold enough to ask the uh, flight attendants yes ask them anything and they are there to you know to receive your questions and give you answers so ask them they will direct you and um this is something that uh, the pilot always says before um, the plane leaves the ground and also before the plane lands on the ground but i noticed actually the flights that i've been to that many people do not they do not obey that instruction but i guess it is important we obey that instruction that was i mean that's the reason why it is being given this is um putting your phone on airplane mode like flight mode i don't know why that is actually i don't know but i think maybe it's to prevent some waves and all that i don't know i have no no specific idea i only have a vague idea of why i think they ask you to put your phone on flight mode but i think it should be done yeah if the pilot says so if the pilot says so we should so when next you're going on a flight please before landing and before taking off kindly put your phone on airplane mode thank you after your plane land you should also take notes of the signs around you and if at any time you feel you are lost please go to the security and ask them yes they will direct you don't be shy <laughs> If you want all this information in a PDF format, I'll be making, I'll be putting this together in a PDF format and it will be available for you to download. I'll put it somewhere in the description box below. And for everything that I've said, I've mentioned every other, I mean, um, stuff that I've mentioned in this video, I will also link them in the description box below so make sure to check out the description box below and if you are yet to give this video a like please go ahead and do so leave me a comment below on how your first flight was please i really want to read from you how was it were you nervous were you anxious was it what you expected please let us know in the comment section and if you are yet to subscribe please tell me what you are waiting for no, just tell me. Tell me. I want to understand why you have not pressed that red subscribe button that is winking and winking at you. Why? 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 Why have you not pressed it? Please, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also tap the bell sign beside it. If you love this video, please share it with someone. And um, if you have a video request, kindly leave me a comment also in the comment section. And I'll try as much as possible to tackle it. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching and until next time when I see you in my next video, have a safe
safe flight. Bye, guys.